I feel like saying today's video is brought to you by chamomile tea because it's all I've been drinking lately. Hi lovelies, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I am dressed for a productive, professional day ahead and we're in my home office because today I'm gonna share with you my early morning work routine. So if you need to study early in the morning, if you're more of a morning person or you just need to be productive and get some work out of the way in the mornings, I'm gonna basically just take you through how I get ready for a productive early morning work session. I don't typically start work too early. I haven't really done that for a while, but when I was a student, I certainly would try and study first thing in the morning. Um, so I'm gonna share with you basically what I do to make sure that I set myself up for a productive work session first thing and hope that you find it helpful. If you want a late night study or work routine video for next week, comment down below. And again, let me know your morning person or a night owl, because I'm always curious to see when are people at their greatest level of productivity. Also, if you want any more study tips and motivation and organizational tips, check out my study skills book, The High School Survival Guide. I'll link it down below along with my planners. But let's get straight into today's video. So the first thing that I would do if I know I've got to be up early to get some work done is I would obviously put an alarm on my phone and I would put my phone on the floor of my bedroom. I don't actually put it on my bedside table. One, radiation kind of creeps me out. I don't know if that's such a good idea. And two, I have to get out of bed to turn it off so I know I'm not going to go back to bed. If it's early in the year and it's summertime and it's really bright outside from like 6, 6.15 in the morning, then that obviously helps me to wake up faster to natural light. But at the moment, as we are getting closer into winter, it was dark at quarter to seven this morning when I woke up. So I can't rely on natural light, but if you can, it is one way to just wake you up a little bit faster. If you do struggle with that groggy feeling in the mornings though, definitely go and have a shower. I've talked about the optimal morning routine or having a healthy morning routine on this channel many times, especially during lockdowns of last year. So I'll leave it as a clickable card up here, a couple of videos I recommend, uh, but just little things to start your day off right, like having a shower. For me, I also like to do my skincare routine. Won't typically do a whole like hair and makeup thing for the morning if I'm working from home. I will if I'm going into the office, but again, just little things that can wake you up that also don't take a lot of time because you need to get into your chair and start working if this is an early morning work routine. And this probably goes without saying, but I'm just gonna say it just in case, because I know there are people out there that will go and have a shower and put their pajamas back on don't do it like just okay getting very very emotional about this but don't do it because it's really important to signal to your body that you're no longer in sleep or chill out mode you're actually getting ready for a work day so even if it's just going to be you know a 5 6 or 7 a.m even start at home just get out of your pajamas because otherwise it is pretty easy to want to crawl back into bed even if you had to get out of bed to hit snooze and it's bright outside just wear proper clothes, wear pants guys. This isn't lockdown anymore, wear pants. Also, it probably goes without saying, but rehydrate, fuel your body. For me, I'll start my mornings with, depending on what I feel like that day. Sometimes it's actually not my special chamomile tea here. It's actually just honey, lemon and ginger tea. The honey is from my mum's beehive um, and just, yeah, some nice, fresh, organic ginger, minced and a little bit of lemon. It's a nice way to just like wake up the digestive system, help detox the liver and ease into the day. I can't eat first thing, but rehydrate, fuel your body because food is fuel. And if you've got to be working, you need to make sure that you can sustain your focus. All right, so then the last thing I want to touch on just before I talk about setting up my workspace for a productive early morning work or study session is chores. I feel like some people like to start their day by getting all those little to-dos and tasks out of the way. The issue there is if you try and do all those things before you start studying, then you're going to be procrastinating with your most important tasks that actually should be the priority. And 
honestly, I would just recommend that you schedule your tasks for another time. Even weekends, like for me, Sunday, we'll try and do all the cleaning, tidying, meal prep, rather than it eating into my precious work time where I know that I'm actually at my greatest focus. So if you are a morning person, don't use up that beautiful energy and mental focus on things that don't require that same quality and mental awareness because it's actually just a bit of a waste. So don't worry about that stuff. Um, one chore though that I do prioritize, unless it's a very, very early work routine we're talking about, is to take Winston out for a walk. And that actually doubles up as an act of self-care and vitamin N nature is great for focus. Being active also helps you to be more productive when you sit down to work. So if you do wanna get any chores out of the way, go walk the dog. But otherwise, now let's talk about sitting down to study. So the first thing that you will find me doing when I sit down to work, and notice I said sit down to work and it's at my desk, not on my bed. Because again, if you get up early and you're studying in your bed, then it's much harder for your brain to differentiate between when is downtime and rest time and when is it time to be productive. But I have to, I have to put on a Spotify playlist. And for me, it can be, I love, is it called Boca, Boca Jazz? Is it Boca? B O C A? I think so. But oh, so. Bossa Nova, not Boca. <laughs> I don't even know what Boca is. Bossa Nova. I love to listen to Bossa Nova jazz. I'll just find a random playlist on YouTube um, or Jason Mraz or anything super chilled, um, acoustic, chilled, indie kind of vibes. Sometimes I'll listen to my other favorite playlist, which is Sunday Fun Day Brunch Hooray. So good, love all the old school songs on there, but it really depends on like what kind of task I'm working on. So my music will change. So one piece of advice to get you into that state of flow is to choose a playlist to listen to. Another thing I would say is make sure, and I've got my diary over here so I can show you, make sure that you've actually scheduled what it is that you want to accomplish into your diary so that you can just sit down and get straight to it. Um, sometimes I will write a plan of attack once I sit down at my desk. I just think that if you've got a lot of things to do, it can make you feel more in control if it's all scheduled in in advance. Um, so as you can see, I've written it all down in my diary and I know what time I need to start and then what time I need to finish up certain tasks to move on to the next one. And then one more thing I'm mindful of when it's my early morning productive work routine is even though my focus is at its best at that time of day, I don't wanna end up feeling exhausted after my work session. So I still try and work in like 30, 45 minute blocks. I'll still get up, make a tea, um, you know, play with Winston for a little bit. So just make sure that you do take breaks and it's away from your desk because even if you are feeling super alert, super focused, super energized first thing in the morning, you don't wanna use up all your energy first thing. And then I'm sure if you've got a pretty packed schedule that there's other things that you still need to tend to after your work session. So that's another little tip for you all. So comment below if you wanna see my late night work routine. I am not a late night person. So I rarely, rarely work or study late at night, but it happens like once in a blue moon. So if you wanna see how I cope with that sort of stuff and what works for me, then I will film that next week if you'd like to see that. And I might actually film it more like a vlog style on the go and take you through what I actually do. So yes, comment below if you wanna see that and otherwise make sure to check out my resources. They'll all be linked down below. Follow me on Insta at Study With Jess and have a super happy, productive week ahead. But whatever you get done this week is what you get done and that's your best. So be kind to yourself as well. Bye lovelies.